Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now uh, with our work on layers and understanding the matter child layers. And we're going to start off with an example. Suppose we've got this here, we'll get the select brush and then very quickly going to select the foreground here. Just going to do it very roughly. Here we go, and just sort of take out some of the bits there, hold the Alt key to remove things. That'll do. So this is just, just for illustration of this. Yeah, it's okay. Ah, here we go. Right, yes, that'll do. I'm not going to do any more of that. <laughs> and now I'm going to do a Control C and Control V, a copy and paste, and it pastes this into a new layer up here. So if I turn off the bottom layer, you can see I've actually just pasted above it in this top layer here, this. So I can type in here, say, foreground. So I've got the foreground here. Control D, I don't need the marching ants anymore. So now then, if I say want to uh, make the foreground a little bit brighter, I might go up and say, let's put on a brightness and contrast and turn up the brightness here. But this affects the whole layer. So what we might do then go, OK, that's not a problem. We've covered this. So I'm going to shift click the bottom here, hit Control G and turn that into a group. So now inside that group here, I've got the brightness and contrast in the foreground. So that brightness here only goes to the bottom of the group. So the one down here, the background, which includes the sky, is not affected. So now when I change this, it's just the foreground being changed, which is great. There's another way of doing this. So I'm going to go to history here and just sort of like wind backwards here till I got that separated foreground and background still. And the way I can do this is again, if I uh, I'll just go forward a little bit. So yeah, I, I include the brightness and contrast I put in there, which is now above affecting everything. And instead of turning the these two together and turning them into a group, I'm going to Take this one here, I'm going to right click it and say mask to below. And what is it has appeared here, it's appeared to the side of this foreground layer. And it allow a little triangle here, I can click on that and you can see it's put down here, sort of indented here, which means it's sort of it's part of this and it forms a kind of group. So it acts like a group. So the brightness of contrast only applies to the foreground here. So if I double click on that, now when I do this, you can see it's just applying this to the foreground. So then with this, I can also drag and drop this around the place. So I can click on that and drag it up there. Notice that horizontal blue bar goes all the way across. That means it's going to be right at the top layer. So it's back up to that. I can also put it down there below by clicking on the icon there and dragging this down over the square there for the icon for the foreground and notice that little vertical blue bar there and that shows it's going to be in there as that in that child position there like that i can also take this back out again i can right click on that and say release adjustment and it does the same thing as dragging it out again it puts it back up there so in other words there are uh, a number of different ways that you can do this, but by and large, it's about taking this. And I often use the drag because it's quick and let's get that vertical blue bar by holding over the square icon and then let go. And then it's nested in like that. What I can also do here is, is I can do the same sort of thing down here. But before that, I'm going to go to up here, the assistant manager. Because what we've done for this is we changed the defaults earlier on in the whole course. And at the moment it says add adjustment to layer as new layer. So I'm going to click on that and say add adjustment as child layer and close that. Now then, when I put in adjustment, instead of it appearing at the top or above, it's going to appear automatically into that child position. So I can now go down here to brightness and contrast and then see that's put in immediately into that child position there for that one. And so I can now play around with the brightness of the background and the contrast. 
and get that to how I want it. It also means that in the same way as groups I can click those little triangles and it's nice and tidy now. I can see the foreground, everything about the foreground's in there and everything about the background is in there. There's more to learn about this but that is an important thing to do so that if you've got that child layer set up there you, it makes it a little bit simpler and you need less groups. It's also if you prefer to do it with all at the top layer and have it uh, adding above not as a child layer you can still do that and a lot of people do prefer it. So this swings and roundabouts as we'll find out. Anyway that's it for now and thank you very much for watching.